Hey everybody, I'm Matt Hopperson of Board Game Halve, and today I'm going to be taking you through uh, the Prelude expansion only. I'm going to add the Prelude expansion, and we're going to be doing a solo one-player run-through of the game Terraforming Mars. Uh, if you played a solo run-through before, with the regular game, you know that uh, you have 14 turns to get the three win conditions. Uh, if you are not familiar with the, the solo run-through, basically... Uh, the whole point of it is it's you against the clock. You need to get all three of the wind conditions, the oxygen up to its top level, the temperature up to its top level, and all bodies of water, all nine of them, uh, place before you hit uh, turn 14. That's in the base game. Uh, what happens in Prelude is it's turn 12 instead because Prelude is all about you getting, uh, you getting a card to start out with. So like here's some here's just to kind of give you an idea of some prelude cards, uh, you know it's just it's an extra resource at the beginning to kind of help get the ball moving. If you're used to playing terraforming Mars, you know that turn like one, two, and three you're really getting set up, uh, and you do not have a lot happening. So these are just some of the cards that kind of are supposed to help you uh, kind of move it along. So what's going to happen is you are going to get to look at your corporations, your ten starting cards, and your prelude choices. Uh, to decide what you want to do, what you want to take, and kind of formulate that initial uh, turn gameplay. In addition to the just the prelude cards, you also get an additional some additional corporations uh, with with the prelude expansion. These are just nothing nothing too specific about them. Just kind of some new abilities, uh, you know, some very interesting ones of things that we haven't thought about before, uh, but some cool stuff. So these kind of are going to get added along to the pile, uh, and we'll see what we what comes up with it. We played, uh, if you looked, if you watch our other run through of a solo play, we played just the base version. We played with uh, the beginner corporation. Now that we've done that, we're actually going to play uh, with a normal corporation. So what that means, instead of just getting the base beginner, where you start with 10, you get 10 cards and you start with 42, uh, you are actually going to, you start with 42, you get... Uh, you're going to get like a bonus or, you know, some kind of ability, uh, but you do have to buy your cards at the beginning. So it makes it a little bit more tougher. You really have to figure out your strategy, but once you do that, you're going to be in good. Besides that, we also have with Prelude, we've got a few additional cards to add to our action stack. Again, nothing too crazy. A few things that we have not seen before, but just some interesting cards. It's not a ton. Uh, there's just a few of them, but they get added in, and that's going to add some flavor throughout the game. Uh, so basically, one of the other main differences that you're going to see is with your resources. In a solo game, you start on the zero with all your resources instead of the one. Just a quick overview of the game. These are your six resources, and this is what you're going to build up. Mega credits in the top left is going to be for buying things. Uh, the steel, which is in the middle top, lets anything with that little symbol, that brown building symbol, uh, you can use those to make to cost two mega credits instead. Uh, it's same thing with the thing, the star thing next to it. That's the titanium. Uh, you're going to be able to spend one of those to equal three credits. Plants on the bottom, you get to turn eight of those for a force, which we'll get into. Energy, uh, you get to use for various things, but you only get it for one turn. After one turn, it moves over. That's what that giant arrow is for. And then heat is going to, you can trade an eight of those to raise the temperature up. Okay, and then besides that, you have to kind of just do the three win conditions. Again, if you're not familiar with the game, you've got these three things. You're going to start with the temperatures at negative 30. Uh, you're going to start with their oxygen level at zero, and you're going to start with no bodies of water on the table. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to get those three things. Those are the three things that are going to give you win conditions. Every time you move it up, you get a victory point. In a solo game, you start on 14. That's kind of the other big difference. Instead of starting on 20 like a normal game, you start on 14, uh, which is going to give you kind of credits each turn. You get a point uh, when you move that up. So you do these three things. Those are win conditions. If you can get that done... Uh, before turn 12, you're going to win the game. Then after that, you score your points and you see how high you can get. So first it's kind of, did I win the game, yes or no? And then if I did, how great was I? There's one other thing that we need to do. In a solo game, you place two random cities. Uh, you place two random cities and forests uh, in a place just random to kind of smooth it out, give you a little hurdle, make it so you just can't put it wherever you want every turn. You're supposed to take one of these action cards and uh, count it out. I don't like doing that. So I just kind of do that, put it in two places. That makes sense, let's do that. That was kind of over here, put that over there. 
So these don't belong to anybody, they're just on the board. But what's nice is some of those cards where it's like, you get this for how many cities you have. Uh, that could be an advantage in a solo game because you do start with some on the board uh, where you don't in normal games. So I think we talked about everything. Overview, you've got your resources that are gonna buy things. Uh, you've got your three win conditions, which you need to set. We didn't really talk about phases. You kind of start in the middle. Uh, you have actions. Actions are anything of these. These are your standard projects, which you can do any turn. Um, your cards are actions. Once you start turning things in and once you start getting blue cards uh, to do things, those are actions as well. Then you kind of get production. It's really important to talk about production a little bit. You need to have uh, anything with the brown border is going to increase your production. Anything without it, a resource, uh, it's going to just give you that resource. Here's a perfect example, right? See, this increases your production of Forest by One. That just gives you one. So one is like what you have in your pocket. This is what you make of it. So making, you get that once a turn. So at the end of your turn, you get the production phase, and that's gonna increase, you know, we start on zero right now, but as you get those, you get that every turn. So that's kind of a very big difference. All right, so we talked about the actions, we talked about the cards, uh, we talked about the win conditions, and we talked about the differences in solo play. So now let's just, let's get it going. Let's get it going. So now we get to give out, uh, you know, a couple of these corporation cards to choose from and some of these prelude cards. So let's take a look. Okay, so let's shuffle these up. Shuffle these up. I'll look at those. They need to be random. Let's pick that up. Okay, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, okay same thing with the prelude cards. Shuffle these up. What? God, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Come on, people, you ready? Let's do this. All right, we're shuffling two prelude cards. I'm just gonna take two. I get to choose. You don't get both these. You just get to choose. All right, so there's that. Okay, and then we're gonna take ten of these cards too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so these are my two corporations. Normally you get to, you can still play the beginner corporation if you want to. Before you look at any of the cards, you do get to look at these uh, and everything else when you're making your decision. But before you do, you have to decide, do you want one of these or do you want a beginner corporation? So I could decide right now to go beginner corporation if I wanted to, uh, but I already said I'm gonna do a corporation, so let's do it. I'm not even gonna look, I'm just gonna decide, yeah, let's do it. Um, okay, cool, I got one of the prelude uh, corporations and one of the regular ones. This is actually probably my least favorite uh, corporation uh, because I don't love this effect at all. I almost never use it. Feels like you're forcing something that you don't have to. Uh, and then, but I mean, the, the starting money is okay. Uh, and the fact that you get cards is nice. But uh, I'm going to try this out. This is interesting. This spend four to increase your lowest production. That sounds like a really interesting, uh, you know, kind of mechanic. And you can do it once a turn. And uh, I like those 47 starting. So I'm going to do that. Even though I could go back, I could look at my hand. Maybe I have something great that I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna do it, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. And then Prelude, same thing. I get to look at both of these in conjunction with my cards, and I get to uh, I get to choose one of them depending on what I have. Right? And then finally, I get to look at my 10 cards. That's so funny, I got this thing, which is the special ability, but, so I get to look at my cards. Okay. All right, so let's talk about let's talk about the cards that I am gonna take and then I'm not gonna take and all that. So first of all, I don't I just don't love these, so I'm not gonna take it. Anything with the the red lets you take it from other players, which are, don't exist in solo. So I always feel like I'm paying for something I don't get, so I don't like it. This is this isn't bad. It lets you kind of cycle through cards, but let's just buy stuff early on. I'm not looking for things to do right now. I'm just I need a couple of solid base actions to do. I don't really have any requirements I'm worried about, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Uh, and then this is kind of a win condition thing that I'm not worried about right now because I'm actually going to do a micro play, uh, which you will see 
right now. Next, we've kind of got some other cards that I like, uh, but I'm going to get away from. So I don't think I'm going to go hard into trying to hit these and be very city -y based on my corporation. I like that I'm kind of building up resources. So I'm going to stay away from the kind of board placement for the most part. I think. We will see. So I'm going to discard those. And then I've got, I kind of got these things I like. I, for some reason, I normally don't play with the microbes too much, but I like this early on. It's going to give me a place to put these microbes. So many cards let you, like, add microbes to things. And just kind of get some some victory points out of this 11. I like that. This, too, it kind of works together. Again, I feel like I'm going to need a place to put some, uh, you know, some titanium at some point. So let's, you know, because I'm going to be building up my resources. So I feel like I'm going to have plenty. Uh, so I need that. It works with micro card. And this is just some some nice heat to kind of get me on the board. I like that. So those are the three I'm looking at. That's going to cost me nine. I did decide to not go with this. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to go with this is my corporation. Okay, so of my two of my two of these cards, again, I like um, stuff. I'm just going to go with this one. I like getting, uh, you know, some of this steel on the board. I feel like I'm going to play that up some of these resources to help me build up everything. So I'm going to take that. So, and then the other one goes away. So just to give you kind of brief how I'm going to start my turn out. Bam. This is in the prelude, so the prelude is going to help me out. And then I'm going to buy these. Cool. All right, so that's 47. I get 47 to start, plus another six. So that's going to give me, uh, it's going to be 53. But then I paid nine, so I have 44. Four. So I have 44 to work with, so I'm going to take that. When you're adding resources, you just come down here, you use these. These are not necessarily money, they just denote units. So like I said, I need 43, so I need 43 units, that's a 5, to get started. So that's the money I get. I get no other, so because I increased my uh, production here and here, so this is going to go to 1. And this is going to go here. Okay, so I get that. Uh, and then that's it for the most part for my setup. I'm not going to get any other resources, but hopefully as turns go on, I will. Like now I'm going to get at least one of those every turn. Uh, and where's the other thing? And one of these. All right, so we're ready to start the game. I am going to... I'm going to buy this for 11. Okay, so that comes with three microbes. I remove 11. All right, and then I'm going to buy this for 23. So I'm going to remove 30, get back seven. Okay, and so that's going to increase my terraform rating, so I'm going to go to 15. Uh, and then I'm going to choose to take three microbes. So events go away. Blues stick around. You can use them over and over and over again. If they've got a little arrow like this does, you can use it once a turn. Green stick around because you need their tags in this top corner, this thing right here. Um, and then these come into play, back into play if they have like victory points in the bottom, but they go away. So you don't utilize those tags. It's kind of the three types, green, blue, and uh, red. Here's a green one. So I paid for that. And then finally, I am going to just get a little heat. Okay, so I'll pay three. Okay, and then my heat is going to go up one. Okay. So again, these stick out. You know, reds go away. And then I'm going to keep these here for reference because I need that skill. Uh, okay. So I have six left. I'm going to use this so I can use it, remove three, and increase my terraform rating by one. That's what that does. Okay. And then that's it. I'm going to call that for the turn. Oops, sorry. So at the end, if you want to follow along, there is a generation card. We just did the action card. You don't do these in the first turn, just on future turns, but we just did this. This is when all the big stuff happens. And then now we're in production. So anything that it says around the brown, you're going to get, uh, we are going to get that much. So with the resources, this is the only one. It's actually your terraform rating, which right now I have 16, uh, plus your credits. So I actually am going to get zero plus 16. So I get 16 where I get one of these, zero of these, Zero of these, one of these, one of these. So that's kind of how production works. Okay, and then that's it. So now we move uh, we move from generation one to generation two. And again, we start from the beginning. So, uh, you know, turn order phase. This basically uses 
this disc to denote who kind of goes first in the turn. Since it's just us, only one, we don't really have to do that. So get that out of here. Next we have the research phase. We haven't done one of these yet, but at the beginning of each generation, we basically get to look at four new cards, and then we get to decide if we want to buy them, three each, uh, to buy the card. Let's take a look. Ooh, I like that. I like I like blue cards that let you kind of build stuff up. Uh, all right, so this kind of makes your next card much cheaper. Um, really kind of not worth it for me because I have to buy it for three and then it's eight and it's a negative one for like five. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I don't think so, but I don't love it. Again, get a lot of money right now to re reduce your production. I don't really want to reduce my production at the moment. Not too bad. Uh, and then this card, as I look at this, I realize I didn't even do this last turn. You got to keep an eye out and do your, raise your things. I could have, I could have had one higher resource. I really screwed that up. Anyways, so I like this card. Okay, so now we're in the, the normal phase. I get to do my actions. Since I only kept one of my card, I'm going to discard three and I have to pay for that. That goes down to two. So I've got 19 to work with. Before I forget, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to increase. I'm gonna pay four, and I'm gonna increase. Let's get let's get this titanium going. So I'm gonna get that to one. I could do plants as well because those are the two uh, that are not up. But I need some. I want some titanium. Okay, so I've got I've got this. Um, well, first before I forget, let's just play this again. I'm using it. I'm choosing to remove three uh, to increase my terraform rating by one. So that's gonna give me a gold every turn. I like that. I'm gonna play this. It's for six. Um, that's not enough. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to, for 10, I don't have 10, unfortunately, increase my heat production by 2, so I like that. Um, but that's it. I don't really have anything else going this turn, uh, so let's move on. So production phase. Again, I have the, uh, I get the, I'm at 17 now, so 17 plus 0 is, that's right, 17, so I'm going to add that to my total. Okay, I get one of these and one of these. Pretty much one of everything except plants, which is nice. So I'm going to take those. Energy does move over. You only get that for one turn. And then any blues come off. All right, so that's it. We're now in three. It definitely moves quick at the beginning, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Uh, all right, so we're going to look at some new cards. Okay, and remember, I want to spend at least 14 because uh, I need to increase my heat by two and I need to add to a production. Um, so what do I like? Ooh. I already have a place for microbes. So I already have a place for microbes, so I don't want that. Okay, seven uh, as a requirement is a lot. I'm not even close to science tags, so let's not do that. This I don't mind. So I'm really going to get that heat up, which is what I'm kind of working for. I already have a way to work on heat, so let's not do that. Oof. And then this is going to up my uh, titanium stuff, which I like. Yeah, I should buy that. I'm going to buy that. So I cost three. Okay, which gives me 23 for the turn. Okay, so don't forget, I'm going to spend my 10 to get two heat, and I'm going to spend four to increase the production. So let's let's bring heat up to three, and then we have to do plants. Oh, no, we can do, we can do money. I'm going to do money. Bring that up. Money. Um, okay, so that's 14. I have, um, so I have to spend that. So I got nine left. So I'm going to play this card that I just got. So I subtract a power, okay, and then I gain a titanium, so that brings me to two, and then a, a money. So thank God I did that thing first, otherwise I wouldn't be able to raise the money up, but I took that. So that's in play. Okay, I'm going to add, I don't. I can't use my fancy microbe card to give myself a terraform rating, so I'm just going to add one uh, microbe to it, hopefully getting some more in the future. Okay, and I think that's it. That's it. I got nine left. Uh, all right, actually, sorry. I should pay for things. I have three left so I just bought that and that's gonna be it for me well, you know what I could actually use these for four but I didn't do that so I'm not gonna I'm gonna whatever pay attention guys this is two mistakes if someone could keep track and point out all my mistakes that would be fantastic anywho that's spent all right so that's it production phase two plus 17 is 19 one two zero zero three 
All right, now we're all set up. Okay, so now we're moving to four. Turn four, it's going quick, it's going quick. Let's look at our cards. Oh, that's too many, so I'm just gonna shuffle. I should put one of these somewhere in here. I don't really look at them. Okay, let's look at those cards. Okay, now let's me change heat uh, into money, which might not be too bad, maybe later. Oh, that makes a water cheaper, but the requirement up top is a little rough. Again, I kinda, I'm staying away from these. I'm just gonna try to get the win conditions done and not embarrass myself by losing. Don't need to get all fancy. Uh, and then this one, well, I can raise power up. Uh, it's nice, I get some stuff out of this. I'm actually gonna buy this card, I like it. It's got enough going on. Uh, I can use some of my production stuff on that. So I'm gonna discard three, and I'm gonna pay three. So that's gonna give me, uh, what do I got? I got four, I got 19. So first of all, I'm gonna do this. Uh, pay, I'm gonna, it's my micro card that I played at the beginning. I'm gonna add one. I have two now. If I get to three, I can, I can spend that guy. I'm gonna pay four. Actually, not yet. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna pay four. I'm gonna use my, uh, you know, you know the one. I'm gonna use that guy. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my power up one, which is gonna let me play this card I just bought. That lets me subtract out of power, add four, and then play this tile. Anytime you get one of these, you just it's just a random thing. It's not going to make or break you, but it might be a nice little bonus. might block an opponent. Not really in a solo game, but you know. Uh, so you just find it from this deck, especially tokens, uh, and you put it where it says. So like right here, it says put adjacent next to a city. So I can do that. Okay, so I'm going to put that down. So that goes there. This goes up to four. I'm at six in money production, which is hot. I like that. Okay, so now we find the piece it told us to. Okay. All right, so that's this one. So it needs to be next to a city. Oops. It needs, it needs to be next to a city. So I like here for cards. I kind of need cards. I can't go in the water here, here. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Anytime you have something on the board that you place, it's not water because water belongs to everyone, you mark it to show it's yours. Um, so I covered up a card, so I get a card for free. I don't have to pay for it. Ugh, I do not like this. Some people have success, but it's just like gambling. It's like flip a card, see if you get a little thing that can make you win. Um, you know, it's not, I don't know. If you can get up to three, you get three points. It's not bad. I've seen people do okay with it, but I don't love it. So I can discard that for one, but right now I'll hold on to it. Okay. So since that moved up, I'm there. Okay, and now I'm also gonna get points for cities at the end, which is nice. All right, so I'm gonna pay 10. I'm gonna raise my heat two steps. So that is now at five. Okay, cool. And then that's gonna be it for my turn. So again, production. Okay, and so we are now, uh, did all that magic. So now we're in turn five. Remember, we only have until turn 12, so things are starting to heat up. Prelude runs a little bit faster, you know, instead of the 14, obviously, because you start with an advantage, that's supposed to spitball give you much more things. Let's see if it works out. Um, I never claim to be great at this game, just trying to show you how to get it. In fact, you know, when I lose, it'll make you feel better uh, about you winning. All right, so first things first, let's look at our new cards. Okay. Water, not even close to the requirement, but that's not bad. Okay, science. Oh man, if only I had science, that's pretty good. Are there any science in here? No. I like that. I might grab that and just hold it. Nah. Negative six, not really close to that. Don't really need that too much. I mean, I do need stuff to spend money on. I can get some, some win conditions. I'm just going to, well, negative 20. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna buy that. So I pay my three to grab that card. I'm gonna discard the others, and now let's start our turn. So again, I, I wanna do some of the things to just on my on my cards that I don't forget. So I'm gonna pay four to increase the production of something. I'm gonna pay 10 uh, to increase two heat, and then I'm gonna do my microbe thing, adding one. Now I'm up to three, next turn it's all good. Okay, so I get two heat, I'm at seven. All right, and then I get one of the lowest. So I have zero of electricity and plants. Let's get on the plant board. So I'm gonna increase my plants by one. Hey, look, I have eight 
heat. I can turn that in to raise the temperature one. This is a temperature gauge. You start at negative 30. As you move up, you might trigger some extra heat bonuses. But you got a lot of spaces to move. So I need to do something about that. All right, so I'm gonna turn in eight of these heats, eight of these, and that's gonna let me raise, I know you can't see it, but just trust me, I raised the temperature one notch. It's a negative, uh, I think 28 right now, yeah, negative 28. So that's one step. So since I moved that, anytime you do one of the three win conditions, you get a victory point for that on your Terraform rating, which is of course gonna give you more money uh, as you play the game. Okay, all right, so now what do we do? I got 25 left. I feel like I should buy some wind condition stuff. So I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a, uh, a aquifer. So these standard projects, in case, I, I feel like I touched on these, but if not, these are just actions that you can always take. So you can always discard cards to get credits. You can always pay 11 to get a little power. 14 to raise temperature, 18, which I'm about to do, uh, play some water. 23, let's place four, which raise your oxygen, uh, and then city plus one. So I'm gonna pay the 18, and I'm gonna play my first water. This is probably the best spot up here. Basically, you haven't seen me place too much, but uh, you know the point is uh, getting those little extra bonuses. So you score by getting a city, uh, and then any plant it touches, you get one for every plant that you control. But then you also, whenever you cover something up, you get what you're covering. That's why there's all these little plant symbols, uh, and there's force, or sorry, not force, there's, there's cards. And also, uh, whenever you place next to a water, you get two bonuses. It's not if the water comes later, like you have to, um, uh, you, you have to, it has to be there already. So normally I kind of like this little center area and then building off and then building kind of cities and stuff to get a lot of plants uh, and extra mega credits. But this by far is like the most valuable space on the board. Two cards is a lot. So you always, pretty much always see people taking this as one of their first ones with the water. So I'm going to do that. So you cover it up. I'm not next to any water, so I don't get any two. Uh, but then I covered up two cards. So I get um, two cards for free. I don't have to pay the three. All right, so because I placed a water, which is one of the win conditions, I get a point, so I'm now at 19. And don't forget, I get those two cards. Whoops. Don't screw that up, I was at two. Okay. So here's what I got. Ooh, I like this. I don't have the science. This is a science tag, but I need three. I should have kept that one with the science. And then this, for four waters, Meh, it's good. It lets you build a city, the special capital city, and then you get extra points for anything that it's touching, any water, I believe. So it's a nice card. These are both nice for later in the game, nothing for right now. Okay, I forgot to spend, I had 25 and I spent 18. So that means I have seven left. I keep forgetting to use these. I really should do that. I'm really not giving you guys the right advice here, but you, you see what I'm doing. You see that anytime I have these, I should have been spending this. Like twice now, I did that. Twice. Doesn't matter, I'll spend it. Uh, so, but anyways, I have seven. Really nothing else that I want to do right now. Again, this is these are my cards. So let's, let's move on to our production phase. And again, for anyone following along, now that we've uh, done the science phase and the action phases, we're moving to the production phase. Okay, so that's it, these come off. Now we're in six, turn six, halfway mark, even though not really, I mean, because as you play, more of the action happens later when you have more resources to work with. Uh, so that's it, let's look at our four new cards. One, two, three, four. Oof, I like this to add to my little terraforming thing. Okay, this is stealing, so it doesn't really do anything for me. Ooh, these are both prelude things. I don't know what this one is. After being played, when you perform an action, the wild tag counts as the tag of your choice. That's interesting, considering I need science. And that gives me that. I have a lot of that. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy these three, because I, I need some stuff. So I'm going to buy these three. I'm going to discard this one. Okay, it's going to cost me nine. Shoot, I think that was in there. All right, so I'm gonna play this first. Cost 10, I can use these uh, for two, and I have five, haha, -ha, I told you I'd use them. So I have five, so I'm gonna use those. Okay, that increases this by one, uh, and that's gonna give me a point at the end, which is nice. All right, I'm gonna, sp I'm gonna do this guy, if you haven't remembered my corporation, for four. 
All right, and then I have to raise something I have nothing of, so it's it has to be power, because that is my lowest resource, which is fine with me. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna use this, my micro card, now that I have three on there, I get to remove them, and pump up my terraform rating by one. All right, I am gonna do this. Let's pump up the heat. So I'm gonna spend 10. Ugh, I have nine left. All right, so now I'm gonna exchange eight of these. I've got a couple in here. I'm gonna exchange eight. And this goes up one, so I'm at negative 26. I gain a point for that. Puts me at 21. I'm actually, you know, I said I hate this, and I do, but I need the science tag, so I'm actually going to play this. Uh, so it's three. So i got six left. Okay, well that's it. So let's actually no. I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna this card I just bought. I'm gonna spend one. Basically, I get to flip a card. If I get a science tag, I get to add a little thing to this. So let's let's try it out. Spend one. Flip. Didn't get it. It was in the discard pile. All right. So that's it for me. Uh, we get production again. I'm at six up here. So six plus twenty-one. I'm at two. I'm at two. I'm at one. I'm at one. I'm at seven. Okay, so now we are set up. Let's move to the next one. We're on seven. Let's see what we got here. Again, really been staying away from that. I don't like paying for the, the stealing stuff. Ooh, I need... I need science. Oof. Not like this. I mean, it has the one point. I think I might just do it. Yeah. You know, I'm already committed. I'm stretching. So I'm going to take this for my weird science buys. And then, I mean, I like this. I mean, can I really use it? I kind of can't. I mean, I got plenty of stuff to use that on. I am going to, I'm going to take this. I like that. I got like heat. All right, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. So I'm going to pay six. Discard these. All right, so first of all, I'm going to do this guy. Pay four. Okay, and I'm going to raise both, um, both plants and power are at one right now. So I'm going to raise plants up to two. I'm gonna pay this for six. I can actually use three of these guys. I have two. I'm gonna pay two and then another two from my normal credits. I'm gonna play that. So this goes down and back to zero. This goes up to four. That's pretty good. Next, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add one of my microbes. Remember that first card I played every three? I get to do stuff. Um, I don't like this. I'm not. I have like three turns to do it. Yeah, I committed to this science thing. For sure. All right, so I'm gonna spend 12. I'm gonna spend these two science-y things. So I have eight left. This, I get to make into any tag I want. Remember this guy? And I'm going with science. So now I have three. So hopefully I can play this thing, which just lets me get two cards. It's very attractive. Um, but I do need power, which I'll get next turn. All right, I'm gonna exchange eight of these. To pump this up, I'm at negative 24 now. Um, I get a bump in heat because I little I triggered it, and I get a point. All right, I have eight. Oh, I played and I played two science tags, so I can draw. I can discard a card. So I can discard a card and draw a card. I am not gonna do that. I like my cards. All right, so that is it for me. I only got eight left, so now we're in our production phase again. So I get 22 plus six, four here, two here, two here, uh, well, zero here, but that one's gonna move over, and then eight here, so let's do that. All right, so now let's move to generation eight, getting close. All right, I have a ton of titanium, so anything I can use, to, anything I can play to use it would be great. Basically what this says, because it's three, 
So I get 12 off because I'm going to get them back. It says basically cost 15 for two powers, which would normally cost 28. Only cost, and I have to buy it for three. So that's 18 instead of 28 for two power. I need power, so I'm going to go for this. So I'm going to buy that. And then, uh, woof, I like the points. I like the cards. Plus science tags. Okay, again, now I'm flooded in science. I don't really need it, but I'm going to buy this one because it's a good deal. So I discard two, pay him a six. Just some, you know, upkeep stuff so I don't forget. I'm going to add my microbe. Remember, if I get to three, I get a point. This one's, it's been okay. It's, I've gotten a couple out of it. Uh, I'm going to pay four, my generation, or whatever you want to call it, my corporation card, so I get to bump something up. It has to be energy. It's my lowest. All right, so now I get 26 to work with. All right, so first of all, I have three tags. I have three of these science tags, uh, and I got a bunch of this stuff, so I'm going to play this. So I have four, so that's eight. 20 minus eight is, uh, what, seven, no, 13. Yeah, 13. So I'm going to pay these and pay my 13. Okay, this comes into play. Negative one energy. I can't really see that there. Uh, so that goes back down to zero point energy. Keeps getting beat up. It's okay. So does four. Uh, but now, once a turn, I get to draw two cards. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Uh, and I also am going to exercise my... I guess I don't get these two cards, whatever, but I'm going to discard a card and I get to draw a card because I played a science tag, so I get that. That is a lot of heat. Hmm, interesting. Oh, and I can play it. That is attractive. All right, so I'm going to... Uh, I like it. I like it. I'm going to play this. So 35, but I have a ton of this. So what do I need? I need 11. How many do I have? I have 11 of these. So that's 33, and then I just pay two. Look at that. I'm removing 11. That's so much. I think I just... I might have screwed that up, but it's okay. Uh, and then I took that off. So 35. So I get 7 heat off of that. That seems like a lot. Uh, so anytime you go over 10, you just kind of stack those. I was at 8 plus 7, that's at 15. So that's how you show 15, 10 plus 5. Uh, okay, okay, making things happen, I like that. All right, so I'm gonna exchange eight of these to raise this up one, get a point from that. All right, so I'm gonna play this for 10 minus one is nine. Uh, I get uh, two cards and one point at the end. It's an event, so it goes away. Okay, interesting. There's one water down, so I'm close on that. Okay. Interesting. All right, so that's going to be it for this action phase. So now we move to production. So I'm going to get six uh, plus 23. We get four here. We get two here. We get two here. We get zero here. Uh, I'm going to get 15 here. Let's add that up. Okay, so now we are back. We are in nine. In turn nine, let's look at those four new cards that we get. Okay. Oof. I do need oxygen. Yeah, I should probably do that. This is hot too. Man, I'm really, I'm really just flush with science now. I like that because I can spend money on it that I have. Let's just get these two. It gives me plenty to do. I'm gonna discard these two. So I pay six. Get four back. All right, I'm just going to turn in 16 of these straight off the bat. Which is going to let me raise the heat up twice. So I can, can you finally see it? It's in the screen. You can see it now. That's how well I'm doing. I pass one heat thing, so I go up to 16. Boom. I'm going to do some of the other things that are, you know, just I've been doing every turn. I'm going to add a little microbe to here. Okay, I'm going to pay four with my corporate card. Which lets me raise something up. It's got to be energy, which I'm fine with because I need to start building that up. All right, so now I have, uh, I got 22 to work with. All right, I'm going to spend this. I need to build up my energy. I just got some cards to help that out, so I'm going to do this. Uh, it costs 11, but I have two of those of these guys, so that's minus six. It's five. Okay, so I'm gonna play this, I get two, I basically get those back. And then this is gonna go up one, so that's at two now. 
And that's another science tag. All right, so now I have, uh, I got 17 left. All right, so first off, I have, uh, I've, I've finally passed this phase, so I'm gonna buy this, and I got a bunch of these. So I'm gonna use four to equal eight, and then I only have to pay two mega credits, and I'm gonna get this. So it's four of these. All right, so that means my, I'm up to seven on the production, what else? And I get two plants in my pocket, which is good. That's gonna let me place a force this turn. Uh, and then that's in play. Now I'm gonna turn in eight of these, which is gonna let me build a forest and raise the oxygen. So let's do that. Uh, it has to be next to something you control when it's a forest. If you have nothing, then you can place it wherever, but that's fine. I'm gonna put here, I get a card. So um, mark it. So I'm gonna get an oxygen point because I got oxygen, I raise it up one, and then I get a card for free. So I just covered that up. So I get that guy. Ooh, that's good, I need, I need power. I'm gonna play this right away. So I'm gonna pay four, three. Okay, great. Great. All right, so I do want, I mean, I want this in play next turn. It really doesn't matter if I have this in turn now. All right, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop for this one. And let's move to, let's move to the production phase. So that's seven plus 24. It's four there, two there, two there, three there, 16 there. Okay, so now we're here. Bam, generation 10. Let's look at those cards. Getting close to, so I have three, I basically have three more turns, uh, including this one to get it done. So max three, I actually can still play that. I do need waters in play. Damn, it rains, it pours with this energy. I have a lot of stuff that I can use energy for, so I feel like I'm just gonna take both of these. Uh, just this one, I'm gonna pay for that. I'm gonna discard these three. So that's seven back. All right, so first thing off the bat, let's just get this out of the way. I'm gonna pay 16, which is two of these, uh, which brings me to negative 14, I get two points. I think I might have forgiven and give myself points at some point. But whatever, it's all good. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pay, I can actually remove three of these. I'm a microbe card to bump up my terraform rating. I'm at 27. Okay. I'm gonna pay four, this guy, if you remember them. I'm gonna pay four to increase plants. Because plants is at two, which is my lowest. Plants go up to three. I get to draw two cards down here with that guy. I'm gonna do that. All right, I'm gonna put this guy into play. Might be a stupid move, but, because I definitely feel like I have enough to get the temperature where it needs to go, but I just, I like using my titanium. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna use, I have four, so that's 12. So this is gonna cost 15. That's a lot. All right, so 15, so I'm gonna get four of these back, basically what I just spent, so I'm just gonna leave those there. I don't get those to steal the green things, but then that moves up two. Which brings me to 29, that goes away. Do I get any points for that? No. See, I really shouldn't have done that because I kind of screwed up my whole plan. Uh, I need to play this, but I need a water in play to play it. It's okay, maybe I can still do it. So I need a water, so it's 18. So I gotta turn these in, and I have two left. So I can place water anywhere. I'm gonna put it. Uh, I'm gonna put it here. So I get a point. And I get two plants for covering up those plants. All right. I'm dead set on playing this. Okay. So I have it's it's cost twelve, but I can use this thing. So I have eight because I have four of those guys. So I have eight. So I need to raise six, and I have two. So I need to raise four money, <laughs> which I don't want to do. All right. I'm gonna discard these four, giving me four credits. All right, and then I am going to use eight and six regular credits to buy the eight of these steel to buy this. I don't remember. I don't need search for life. I'm just put that there. Okay. So I'm gonna play that. 
wipes me out. All right, and then I can pay three to bump this up. Boom, and I get a point. Don't worry about that guy. All right, so I am very out of resources. Oof, I gotta start putting stuff down. Yeah, I'm out of resources, so let's add it up. So seven uh, plus 31 is gonna be 38. And then I get four, two, three, three, 16. All right, we're back. Two turns to go. Generation 11. Okay, I need to focus on. I need to focus on winning. That's actually not bad since I have all that titanium. I should probably do that. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna discard the rest. I need to focus on win conditions now. I didn't realize how close I am to the end. Twelve turns is quick. All right, so I'm gonna pay three. All right, so first thing, like last turns, let's pay 16 to raise this up to. Okay, so I need to get it all done by next turn. I'm getting like two a turn, so I need to do something. I need to raise it like four extra times on my own. Good to know. Oxygen's a different story. I definitely got to do this three for oxygen. I'm so behind in oxygen, so let's raise that up. And if only I had a few more turns. Okay, whoa. All right, I'm gonna draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, this really helps me with my power dilemma, and I do have it in hand. So I'm gonna actually play this real quick. So uh, whatever, three times five is 15, so this is gonna cost me 16, which is fine. It's gonna clean me out. I get four of these. Take eight, but that doesn't matter. But this goes up three. One, two, three. So I get three points. One, two, three. And see, I also hit a water, so I get a water. Bam, I'm gonna put it right there. So see, I placed it next to water, so I get two mega credits. And because I cover up two plants, I get uh, I get two plants as well. Okay, so I get the points. And I get my, my credits and my plants. All right, so I have a lot of stuff that's going to help me, that's gonna just subtract power, so I wanna add up. So I'm gonna pay this, 14, but I got a lot of these. So I have seven. I do have seven of these. So let's get rid of those. And I can just pay for that with that. All right, so I get three power from that. So that's gonna bring me to six. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. But let's just go through the motions. I'm gonna add my little microbe right there. I really didn't use this as much as I should have, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna pay four. Do, you know, my normal this guy. I pretty much have to raise up plants. Plants are titanium. I'm gonna go with plants at this stage. So plants go to three. All right, so I have 21 exactly of that. So I'm gonna spend this. Let's get some of those win conditions. So this goes up one, so I can point for that. And then I get a water. I'm going to place it next to my other water. So I get a plant, two plants, two mega credits. Uh, I get the point for the water. I get to steal three of these, but that doesn't matter. Uh, so what do I say? I got the two of these, two of these. And those all go away. So now I have two. So I just gained those. Really nothing to do with them. All right. And so that's, I'm going to be it for the turn. All right. So I get one more. I get one more turn. I really don't think I'm going to pull this off. Uh, in fact, I don't even think I'm going to come any close, uh, so I'm going to embarrass myself, but you, whatever, you get it, you, know, you see it, you see it. I'm actually not done, I didn't see these down here, I'm going to play this real quick. So I'm going to turn in eight of these. Okay, again, it's kind of a hassle, I would love to be next to these waters, but I'm going to move here. So that goes up one, I goes up one. Okay, last turn, I'm totally not going to do this. Yeah, I highly doubt I'm gonna do this. But anyway, so let's move to the production. So seven uh, plus 41 is 48. I get four of those, I get two of those, I get three of those, six of those, 16 of those. Okay, so now we move into our final generation. If this isn't about a win condition, I don't want it. 
Well, that's helpful, actually. 36. Ugh. Can't really afford anything anymore. That one's better for sure. Gives me plants. I mean, I need power. I mean, out of necessity, I'm going to buy these two. It's probably not great, but whatever. I got to do what I got to do. So I'm paying six. Uh, not that it matters, but let's add a micro just so I could say I did it. I'm going to draw two cards from using my action for that. Let's hopefully I can get some miracles here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to exchange three energy. If you remember this guy, so I can increase the oxygen by one. There's no way. Like, I do not see this happening. All right, let's go heat twice, which gets me pretty close. All right, let's play this guy. Uh, for 23, I have six of that, so I just gotta come up with 17. Okay, and I'm gonna get water. Hmm. I should put it down here. Now I want the plant and the money. Okay, so water, so I'm gonna take a point for the water, uh, and I'm gonna take my two mega credits for being next to that, and I get a plant, and then I get my oxygen up one. So that's a point. If I get oxygen up two more, then that's going to be the end of heat for me. And then we get two plants, which is good. Okay, I have seven plants, so I definitely need one more of those for sure. All right, so let's buy a water, I guess. I already did that. All right, so I'm going to buy water. So that's 18, so there's 20. Okay. So I'm going to get two mega credits on a plant. also get a point. I don't know why that's over there. Um, what did I screw up? Oh, that's from before. All right, so I'm going to get uh, a plant and two mega credits. All right, so I'm going to turn in eight. I already had it. I'm going to turn in eight uh, of those to get a plant. Finally, I can get some money. All right, so I cover up. I get one plant and six mega credits. This is all the waters. Okay, I'm gonna mark that. Boom, I get an oxygen, so that goes to seven. I get a point. Oh boy. Uh, did I draw two cards already? I did. Not looking great, not looking great. Okay, well I need to buy a tree. Let's do that, I think I have enough. What is it, 23? Maybe not. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I need four more. 2, 3, 4. I'm going to discard these four. And I'm going to spend all my money. Uh, and I'm going to buy another tree. Okay, so I get a plant, right? A plant and four micro credits. And I mark it. I get an oxygen. Boom. 49. And then this goes up one. Boom. 50. Oh my god. I'm not even close. This is embarrassing. Uh, I guess you probably, more of, the, more of the stories, you probably shouldn't have listened to me at all. I don't think I have anything I can do. I have four. Oof. I can't even do anything. Yeah. That's it. So there you go. I lost. Yeah, I did not win. Basically, uh, by the end of this turn, I would have had to need to get all three win conditions done. I wasn't even close. Was not even close. I got a kind of, what do I have? Three waters left. And I had one, two, three, four, five, six places to go on the old oxygen track. Oh my God. It's embarrassing, but, uh, you know, whatever. So now when you guys win, you'll feel just so much better about yourself. Anyway, guys, this has been Terraforming Mars. This has been the, uh, this has been the one-player version with using the Prelude expansion. It's very small, very inexpensive. It just kind of comes with some extra cards as I lay it out. Pick this up. It's a lot of fun. It's great in normal games. As you see, it kind of uh, makes the game go quicker. I mean, I still lost, uh, so not really great. Uh, evidence or anything like that, 
Uh, but whatever, this is a fun game. We got it done. Uh, we'll get it. We'll get it, guys. Don't worry. Next time. Next time. But this has been Prelude. Uh, really? I love this guy. It was a lot of fun, but I feel like I used it probably when I shouldn't have. But, I mean, you have to use it. That's kind of the point of it. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Anyways, I've been Matt Halverson of Board Game How. Please check us out at BoardGameHow.com. Please subscribe to this channel. Please click the little bell so you get uh, you get those notifications. Please uh, check out our Instagram at Board Game How. That's Board Game H A L V. Uh, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, all those things. You know, send me a send me a postcard. It's all good. I'm here. Thank you for uh, which thank you for watching this, and please check out some more of my other videos.